I thought I would film a little bit of a different video today. So, hello, thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. It's Tuesday the 28th of April, I believe, and we are still in full lockdown here in the UK. So, we're still at home, we're still in our comfies. I'm in men's tracksuit bottoms, actually, from Top Man, love them. Um, and we're just, yeah, we're still in lockdown. Next Monday, we will have been officially in the UK on lockdown for six weeks. So madness, crazy, but obviously better safe than sorry. But yeah, so anyway, I wanted to film this video today because I got this massive box from Mario Badescu this morning in the post. It was very kindly gifted to me from the brand. And when I got it, I had no idea what was gonna be inside. So I started opening it on my Instagram stories and I was like, oh my gosh, there's like a full skincare set in here. So there's like the cleanser, the toner, the moisturizer, the like, like mask, everything that you need really to do like a full skincare like routine um and i've never actually used any of mario badescu's skincare products before if you're an avid follower of me um and you follow me on instagram you'll probably know if you follow me on here too um but i love the mario badescu facial sprays i absolutely swear by them i i use them for literally everything in my life so yeah i've obviously used them before but i've never used any of their skincare products so when I opened this package this morning, I was like, oh wow, like this has got everything, uh, like everything I'm gonna need. By the way, I'm really sorry, but I am filming next to a road and this camera picks up a lot of audio. So I am really sorry if you can hear cars driving past. There's not a lot I can do about it. Um, yes, I thought I would film uh, like a full testing Mario Badescu skincare product video. Um, and basically I'm thinking, so as I said, it's Tuesday today, so I'm thinking I'll start tomorrow morning and I'll do morning and night, Mario Badescu only skincare for a week. And we can see like the before and after, we can see if it's done anything to my skin. I'll obviously tell you how I found the products, if I liked them, if I felt like my skin was, you know, dry when I woke up, moisturized when I woke up, if my makeup sat nicely on it, all of that jazz. Um, and yeah, I just thought it'd be a fun video. I've never done anything like this before. It's a new skincare brand to me. So I thought if any of you guys wanted to know what the products are like, then here I am, I'm your girl. So I got my box. I'm just gonna take this little string off. And then it's so, ooh, it's so cute actually. The packaging's really cute. I assume if you order from Mario Badescu, this is what you receive. I'm not 100% about that, but I would assume so. All of the products came in this like little mini um, linen, uh, what's it called? What's this called? Like a tote bag, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my brain then. Let's start with the three big products that I got. I got the ooh, Enzyme Cleansing Gel, which says cleanse twice daily with our best-selling face wash. Um, it's papaya and grapefruit infused, and I'm guessing it's pretty much a cleanser. So great, so I've just run out of my cleanser. Then I have got the Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner, used twice daily after cleansing. So, um, well that's usually what you do with the toner anyway. But yeah, so that's great. So that's like your first step. Then I also got sent this botanical body soap, which is great. So I will pop this in my shower, or my bath, and throughout the week I will try this out as well and just see what I think of it, just to show you guys. Again, it just says use daily as an all over body wash, um, apply to wet skin, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, just like in the shower or the bath. So I will use that. Then I um, received the Collagen Moisturizer, which also has an SPF 15 in, which is great. Combination and sensitive skin this is for, because I did actually tell Nicole, who was the very kind lady that sent me these products, um, that I, ha I have basically combination skin. Like, it's not dry, but it's not oily. It's sort of like a bit of both. In, I mean, that's what combination means, isn't it? But um, yeah, I, I get like oily and in like my T-zone and stuff, but then I can get dry. So um, yeah, I just said I had combination skin. So that's a good one to try. And then I also got the Super Collagen uh, Face Mask, which says apply a thin layer of the mask onto clean skin. Obviously, exactly the same as a normal mask. It says that this is a collagen clay mask and it's for dry, dull skin in need of a lift, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So yeah, the collagen mask and the collagen moisturizer, which is 
great because we need all the collagen we can get. I was then sent the Botanical Exfoliating Scrub, which says it's for all skin types and it says it's for a more radiant complexion, perfect for all skin types, used to buff away dead skin cells, uneven skin tone, texture, blah 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 use light pressure to apply and it says to use this one to three times a week and i got this little um one which was packaged differently i think maybe because it's um probably more prone to like leaking because it comes in this little um, like pipette and this is the super peptide serum and i've never heard of this but it says Diminish in defense against visible signs of aging. It says apply three to four drops to the face, neck, and decolletage. Am I saying that right? After cleansing and toning, avoiding the eye area. Then it says follow with moisturizer or night cream. So you're meant to put this on before your moisturizer. I was also sent two of their lip balms. So I've got the, just the normal lip balm. And then I've also got the mint. Oh. Yeah, very minty. So, super excited to try them and see what they're like because I love a lip balm. I'm literally obsessed with lip balms. It's an issue. And then last but not least, I was very kindly sent three of the mini um, facial sprays. So, I don't know if you watched my Miami vlog, but if you did, you will see I picked up the newest one, which is the Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom. I got that from Urban Outfitters in Miami. And then I also got sent the original, no, I think this is the original, the Cucumber and Green Tea. Oh, I don't know. I don't know which is the original, but I got the Cucumber and Green Tea and then I also got the Aloe Herbs and Rose Water one. So they sent me um, three of the little mini versions of them which I actually love because they're perfect for like traveling they're perfect for popping in your bag if you're going somewhere um slightly better than the bigger versions so yeah I will join you back tomorrow morning Wednesday morning and we will do like the first section together just so we can see immediate like um first impressions that's what I'm trying to think of that's the word um and then at the weekend maybe I'll have a bath and I'll use like the mask the exfoliator stuff like that um and yeah basically I'll just check in with you like throughout the week and then I will join you again um, next Thursday but anyway I am blabbing now so I am gonna yeah crack on with my day and I will see you guys in the morning to test out all the products as promised I am back it is Wednesday morning and I haven't used any of the products yet it's actually 10 20 which is a little bit late for me but isolation has really messed up my sleeping pattern I actually did get my sleeping pattern back for the last few days and then I stayed up quite late again last night watching Vampire Diaries, so that's quite standard, really. Ah, oh, that's blow drying her hair. So, this morning we are going to use the toner, the cleanser. Oh yeah, we'll use the peptide stuff. We'll give that a little go. The moisturiser, and we'll use the normal lip balm so i'm gonna do my makeup straight after i film this and i like to put lip balm on just before i do my makeup because then um i don't know it just hydrates and everything i'm really sorry if you can hear hannah blow drying her hair she's in my room blow drying her hair so <laughs> that's annoying so this is my skin day one before using any of the products um i have quite a bit of scarring down here and like the odd breakouts so, like this little breakout came to me yesterday i think because i had quite a lot of makeup on yesterday as you guys know because i filmed but this is where i get all my breakouts down here um and then i have like the odd one like under my chin i have a lot of scarring and then i have like the odd one under here i think that's like hormonal i don't know why i get them there it's really bizarre but yeah that's pretty much the only place i get breakouts i don't ever really get breakouts like on my chin or my forehead or anything like that it's just like this little section here which i suffer with okay so enzyme cleansing gel gently massage cleanser in circular motions onto wet skin then rinse thoroughly with warm water. Be sure to follow with the appropriate toner and moisturizer. I am constantly moving my clips. So I have like a little drawer with like loads of clips and stuff in, in my bathroom for when I'm doing like my skincare, my makeup, and I clip my sort of like fringe this bit back. And every time I do it, I put one in my hair, then I go into my bedroom to like do something. And then I take the clip out in my bedroom. And then the next day I come in and I have to use a new clip. And then it happens until it gets to the point where I no longer have any clips in here, which has happened now. So I'll be back. 
just gonna I might wash my hands first actually before we start putting stuff on our face so I'm just gonna take a clean flannel I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna wipe that on my face and I'm gonna put the cleanser on feels nice smells um, like cucumber now I'm just gonna wipe it off with a flannel so that is all completely done it feels very very soft um, I currently at the moment use Lizelle which is one I've used for years um, and I will say like my skin doesn't feel this soft after I use Lizelle so maybe that's a good thing then toner so I've just got a little cotton pad and I'm just going to pop some of that on and I'm just going to wipe in sweeping motions smells quite strong okay next i'm going to use the super peptide serum which says apply three to four drops to the face neck and i'm not going to even try and say that one again decolletage after cleansing and toning put one there one there one there and then i might just put one onto my fingers feels quite um sticky goes out quite sticky Okay, now we're going to go in with the collagen moisturiser. This also has an SPF 15 in, which is great. I like to have an SPF in my moisturiser. It's quite a thick, sun creamy consistency. I may have put too much on, but you never really know, do you, how thick or thin a moisturiser is going to be. So I'm just going to put some of it on my, like, my hands actually rubs in really well and it actually feels really really nice it even feels really nice in the back of my hands there where i've just put it just get my hair out again so i look kind of normal i'm gonna pop some of the lip balm on which ha like this just doesn't have any like flavoring or scent oh oh actually it smells kind of like coconut i love a lip balm i just get that all over me a bathing lip balm if I could. Beautiful, like that. Very moisturising. Lovely. The only other thing I am actually going to do is I am going to use my eye cream. Well, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue Eye Cream. Only because I didn't get an eye cream and I don't typically use an eye cream. But I bought this a week ago and I've been using it and I've been wanting to trial this as well. So. I'm going to continue to use the eye cream. As I said, I only actually really got this like a week ago, so I'm not sure how much I would recommend it just yet. I have quite dark circles, like naturally, unless I've just been tired since birth. But I think genetically, I have quite dark and like deep set um, eye bags. So I'm just hoping that this might just give me a little bit of help. That is the... Um, complete skincare routine done i actually feel really good like i feel really moisturized when i'm looking at my skin i do actually genuinely feel like i'm glowing yeah it feels good it feels really moisturizing as i said i'm gonna go straight in now and get ready and do my makeup so i will update you at some point whenever i see you next um as to how it's going each day and as to how my makeup sat on it um compared to like yesterday when i did a different skincare routine so yeah, I will probably catch up with you guys in a few days and we'll test out the exfoliator and like the mask and stuff like that. Good evening you guys. It is now Friday. Uh, no it's not. It's not Friday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's about 5 to 8. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm gonna cleanse. I've been using obviously all the skincare every day. I have had a few breakouts. I just don't know if that's to do with the products or if that's to do with like I was on my period last week so it could be to do with that it might not necessarily be the products at all um but yeah so <laughs> I will show you in a sec when I take my makeup off and then I'm going to use the exfoliator and the mask tonight the super collagen mask I meant to use this at the weekend and then I don't really know. Do you know, I just didn't fancy a mask at the weekend, so I didn't use it. But I'm going to put it on tonight because I've obviously had, like, quite a lot of makeup on today. I've been, like, filming and stuff. So I thought I would do it today. Hello. <laughs> I'm back. So I have uh, taken my makeup off and I cleansed. In terms of um, 
breakouts. I have, I've just had like a few, um, nothing too crazy, like none, as I think I said earlier in the video, I don't really tend to get breakouts like on my forehead or on like my cheeks or anywhere really apart from this section here, which is what I said. But yes, I'm going to use the Botanical Exfoliating Scrub and it says, use light pressure to apply scrub on the skin, massage all areas of the face, 30 seconds, then rinse with warm water. We're still in lockdown here in the UK. We just found out that our um, original time we were gonna find out, oh, wait, that didn't make any sense. The original day that we were gonna get an announcement on whether lockdown was gonna be like eased or like what was happening basically has been changed from Thursday to Sunday. And we think it's because Friday's bank holiday here in the UK, which means that if they released us, released us on Thursday, then it would probably be a bit of a wild weekend. So we think that's why they've done it. But yeah, we should be finding out this week if we are gonna be eased up a little bit or if we're gonna be carrying on lockdown. I mean, we think that is gonna be eased up a little bit. Otherwise we think they would have just announced it already today because it's been officially six weeks today since we've been in lockdown in the UK, like officially by the government. I've literally been in since I got back from Bali that Wednesday. So actually, yeah, on Wednesday it will be seven weeks for me. I don't know what it's like in your country. Let me know down below actually in the comments, that'd be fun. Let me know what's going on in your country, if you're in lockdown and how it's been and if you're okay. Got the scrub on. I don't know if you can see it at all. It's got like that exfoliator um, like consistency, like it's got like bits in it. I think it's meant to get rid of dead skin, right? This scrub features finely ground seeds to gently polish and buff away any dulling dead skin. Well, here's hoping. Okay, we've taken the exfoliator scrub off. My skin actually does feel very, very smooth. I've gone slightly red. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's um picking it up in the camera. I've gone ever so slightly red. I don't know if that's because of like the um, like grains that have been like rubbing on my skin, but my skin does feel very, very soft. So yeah, that's good. I'm now gonna use the Super Collagen Mask. And this says, apply a thin layer of mask on clean skin, avoiding the eye area. Wait 15 to 20 minutes and rinse thoroughly. I would be very, very interested to see how the exfoliator um, does with my skin like if it maybe helps my breakouts because obviously it gets rid of like all your dead skin cells so you think that might help with breakouts this mask dries very very quickly you've got to be quite quick with the application but I really really like how it feels on my skin I'm enjoying it a lot actually and it smells really just like nice and fresh and just proper like spa like you guys I forgot about the mask and it's been like half an hour <laughs> and it's honestly it's so hard I feel like I've got Botox I can't even move my face at all my eyebrows oh there is mask in my eyebrow I was like oh my god my eyebrows are so hard what is going on but there is mask in it look okay so I'm gonna take the mask off see how we feel I think this is what I hate or dislike most about masks it's just like getting them off I just find them quite a lot to handle when it comes to taking the mask off. I don't actually know why I didn't put my uh, lights on before. Um, I'm sorry if it was a little bit dark before. I think it only it has only just got like this dark within the last, I don't know, 20 minutes. But um, yeah, my skin feels quite soft. I liked it. I liked the feeling of it. I liked when you put it on. I liked the smell. I liked that it gets really hard. But for today, that's going to be it. Um, I'm just going to pop on the super peptide serum and the moisturiser and the lip balm. And then I'm going to get a cup of tea and get into bed. It's quite early, but I'm thinking I'm going to have... A, well, it's like quarter to nine. It's not that early, but I'm thinking I'm going to have like a... Um, just like a nice relaxing early night, cup of tea in bed and just, yeah, have a little chill out. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later on in the week. Um, we will see where the skin is at. Hello, good afternoon. It is Thursday, Thursday the 7th of, Thursday the 7th of May. 
Crikey. My life is literally just flying. I don't know about you guys, but life in isolation just flies. Like, my days just go so quickly. It's already nearly three o'clock and I don't know where the day's gone. Anyway, it has officially been a week since I have been using the Mario products. And yeah, I just obviously wanted to do a little roundup of the video. Obviously, it's only been a week, so it's quite difficult for me to be like, yes, this has transformed my skin, or no, this has really made my skin worse, or I like it, I don't like it. Like, it's quite difficult in only a week, really. But I do really like the products. I have actually put the exfoliator in my shower and I'm doing it like every time I wash my hair and I've got like all my face and like hair super wet I'm using the exfoliator which is probably around two to three times a week and it says to use it two to three times a week so that really suits me well so I've done that so I used the exfoliator this morning in my shower in terms of the cleanser toner moisturizer and the super peptide serum they're the four products that I'm using like obviously daily morning and night yeah I mean I don't have any complaints about anything I did get a few breakouts over the last week but that's quite natural for me anyway um I don't know if you've been following me on here for a little while but I've spoke about it in a few different like vlogs or videos but like my skin is I say bad it it's not bad, like, I know there are people who struggle with their skin, like, really, really badly, but I'm coming up 26 this year, and I am getting a lot of, like, hormonal breakouts. I think it's quite common around, like, 25, 26. I think it's called, like, cystic hormonal acne, and last year, like, um, end of last year, beginning of this year, like, it was really bad, but it has got slightly better, but I still suffer with breakouts under here, so I get them, like, under here it's really strange and like I get the odd few here um and that's obviously not improved or got worse so and as I said it's only been a week so I probably wouldn't have expected it to anyway but I will keep you updated I'll keep you updated over on my Instagram I'll keep you updated on my YouTube in like vlogs and stuff like that as we go along I will also put a before and after picture in because I did take a picture last Wednesday the first day in the morning when I did my skincare and then I will take a picture maybe tomorrow morning after I do my skincare again and then that will have been a week just over a week and we'll just see if there's any difference at all I doubt there will be but I'll pop them up anyway and we can see um hi there how you doing just filming the end of my Mario um skincare video you okay New trainers? Yeah, it's the new shadow ones, they're not original, Alex. Oh, nice. Yeah, white's good. White's good for summer. Yeah, I'm a basic bitch, so. Basic bitch, yeah. Well, anyway, that's it really. So, yeah, as I said, I'll keep you updated throughout vlogs, videos, Instagram, stuff like that. Thank you very much to Mario Bilescu for sending me the products. They didn't ask me to do this video, but I just did it because I, I wanted to, I wanted to see for myself as well and I thought some of you may be interested. So yeah, I'm probably gonna end the video here. Oh, the only thing I was gonna say, I don't know if I said this the other day, I did get a breakout here and around here in the week that I noticed and I thought, hmm, that's a bit strange and I thought that could have had something to do with the lip balm because I have heard that there are a few lip balms in the world that cause breakouts around your mouth and I go quite hard with the lip balm because I'm lip balm like obsessed. Um, so I tend to just put quite a lot on and maybe that get, gave me the little breakout here or maybe here, I don't know, it may not have. For me to get a breakout here is not really that typical. So it may have been the lip balm, but again, as I said, I haven't noticed that my skin suddenly turned horrendous. I haven't noticed that my skin is suddenly better overnight. So yeah. It's just one of them, like, I'll have to just keep you updated over the next sort of, like, month or so. Any questions, pop them down below, and I'll keep coming back to the video and, like, checking and then letting you know. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, other than that, I think I'm going to leave the video here. It's bank holiday tomorrow in the UK here, so long weekend. It's really nice weather, super sunny. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!